so just to just to be clear, so you're familiar with what we speak right now, right? You're familiar with like ebonics, right? Ebonics. So you familiar with this? Re, keep that in mind. You familiar with the story of Ishmael, the 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 uh, one of the illegitimate son of Abraham? Okay, let me get that real quick in the Zondervan. Yes, sir. Give me, give me Ishmael and the Zondervan. I'm going to show you something. So what happened when we came over here on slave ships? Were we speaking English? The African, no, thank you. The Afri no, we, us, me and you. Was we speaking English? No, I, you can bet on that. We wasn't speaking English, right? And not only that, that's in the, that's in the Bible also. That's a curse. A people going to attack us if we won't understand their language. And we're going to be made, forced to, to, to sit and learn their ways, their culture, their language, all that, right? So... When we learn, now we speak English, me and you, my, like modern day, like fast forward all the way up to now, we speak English, right? But is it like they speak English? No. No, we say, what up, though? Right. How would they say it? Nice. What's up, sir? Right. Right? So, Arab, Aramic is like that of Hebrew. Okay. You understand? Yeah. So, Creole is, a, is, is how Haitian, our brothers right. and sisters of Haiti, right. right, which are the Levites in the Bible, Creole is how they try to speak French. You understand? Because they were conquered and destroyed by the French who tried to teach them French. So they, they try to speak it, but it's, all, it's like how we speak English. You know, we understand it. We speak it plainly, but we talk as fast as we talk to each other, how we talk to each other. They'll be like, can, pardon me? Excuse me? Can you? Exactly. That's what Aramaic is. Because what happened to Ishmael? Go to, let's get that real quick. Ishmael in the Bible. Um, Let's read this first. I'm going to get this in the Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary first. Watch this. Ishmael, God hears, the son of Abraham by Hagar. Hagar was his wife's servant of another nation, right? Watch this. The Egyptian maid of his wife, Sarah. So she was an Ethiopian or Egyptian, right? That was his servant. Watch this. Sarah was barren. And in accordance with the custom of the age, she gave to Abraham her handmaid Hagar, an Egyptian, as his concubine, hoping that he might obtain a family by her. Okay, jump to the next page. Uh, well, just get to the point. Okay, I got you. Go ahead. The word is apparently used in the Old Testament in a wider sense. All Arabs. Yeah, watch this. All Arabs, following Muhammad's example. All Arabs. That follow Muhammad's example, which is who, which, which Arabs? The, Arabs? the Muslim Arabs. The Muslim, because you got Arabs also in Lebanese, in Lebanon. I mean, you got Arabs throughout. You got the the the, the um, Chaldeo, whatever. It's, it's many regions of Arabs, Syrian. Some of them Christian, like in Leban in Lebanon, right? So what they're telling you right here, because that's just a religion. But what they're telling you is that's where the language, that's where the people come from. That man, Ishmael, who was the illegitimate first son of Abraham. Right. It's a reason we're touching this. Watch this. All Arabs following Muhammad's example claim descent from Ishmael. Ishmael is who? The first son, first illegitimate son of Abraham. Remember, that's what we just read about. That was the, the, that was the son that Abraham had with an Egyptian, his wife's handmaid, right? Watch this. Now let's get the Bible. Let's get the Bible. So in, 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 in the Arabs come from Ishmael, right? And Aramaic, right, is what they speak. Watch this. Now remember we talked about broken English, which we speak. They call it Ebonics, right? Creole. And there's many types of Creole, Right? You got Dutch Creole, you got uh, uh, French Creole, it's a lot of different types of Creole. And it all came from a destroyed people trying to speak it properly. Right? Watch this. Genesis chapter 16 verse 11. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Behold, thou art with child, and shalt bear a son, and shalt call his name Ishmael. Genesis chapter 16 verse 8. And he said, Hagar! Sar Sarai's maid. Uh, Sarai's maid. Her maid servant. All right, so there's no confusion because it said a different word in the, in the dictionary. Come on. Whence camest thou? And whither wilt thou go? Uh -huh. And she said, I flee from the face of my mistress. I flee from the face of Sarai because she mad with me. She gave me, to, she gave me to Abraham, right? And I ended up getting pregnant. So what would that make a woman? 
She couldn't get pregnant, but the handmaid could. What that's gonna make her? She gonna be mad as hell. She gonna be mad, she mad, she jealous. That's her actual husband. Her husband actually impregnated, impregnated her, her maid servant. You understand? She gave him to it because so that if he, they was both up in age. So what happens if a man die and he don't have no seed? His yeah, his entire line is erased. So she was like, I gotta do this before either one of us die. We both old, I got, he gotta have a seed, right? So that's the only reason she did it. But watch this. I flee from the face of my mistress, Sarah. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, return to thy mistress and submit thyself under her hand. He said, go back and bow to her. That's what the angel of the Lord is telling, this is how he's dealing with Hagar, right? Watch this. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, I will multiply thy seed. I'm going to multiply thy seed, right? And now the angel is speaking the word of God, of course, right? So God would multiply the, 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 the seed of the Arabs, right? Watch this. Exceedingly, that it shall not be numbered for multitude. That's what you see now. That's what you see now. They're, um, they're innumerable. Just like the Bible said, right? Watch this. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Behold, thou art with child, and shalt bear a son, and shalt call his name Ishmael, because the Lord hath heard thy affliction, and he will be a wild man. And he'll be what? A wild man. A, he will be, ah, 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 boom. He'll be a wild man. He will blow your building up. He will blow himself up to kill you. That's right. He will be a wild man, and his hand will be against any man. Watch this. Watch Verse this. 12. Yeah. And he will be a wild man. His hand will be against every man. And every man. And every man's hand. Come on. And every man's hand against him. Against him. Who's not against the Arabs, bro? Who's in league with the Arabs? No one likes them, and they don't like nobody. That's right. They don't like nobody, and nobody like them. Watch this. And he shall dwell in the presence of all his brethren. And he shall dwell where? In the presence of all his brethren. That's why you might see a few other nations peppered and sprinkled in with you. That's one nation you do not see in your community. That's right. You'll see them on a store in your yeah. community. But when they close shop, they're leaving you and they're going to wherever the rest of them are. That's right. Right. When they deal, they deal with all the rest of them. They yeah. don't deal with you. That's right. Understand that. Come on. And she called the name of the Lord that spake unto her. Thou God seest me. Uh -huh. For she said, have I also here looked after him that seeth me? So now, why are we going over all of this with Hagar? Because there was a, a, a certain relationship that Hagar had gotten from the Lord at this point. Now, what do you think she told her son about that? That's what she told the Lord. That's what she told him. This was the relationship she had with the father, so this is what she taught her son, Ishmael. Watch this. It's more, watch this. The book of Genesis chapter 21 and verse 10. Wherefore, she said unto Abraham, cast out this bond woman. So Sarah go to her husband. Yo, she got to go. Kick her out. Because Sarah got a conversation from the Lord just like Hagar. The same way. You're going to have a seed. Right? You're going to name him. You're going to name him this. And this is who his promise is going to go back and get that. That's why I wanted 17. Is that 17 or 19? It's in chapter 19. The promise to Isaac when, when the Lord came to Sarah. It is. That's why I wanted 17. Go ahead. Genesis. Watch this. Listen careful. So now there's two children from Abraham, right? The first is by Hagar, the Egyptian, right? Uh, his name was Ishmael. The second is who we're about to read about. Read. Genesis chapter 17. Start verse 18. And verse 18. And Abraham said unto God, Oh, that Ishmael might live before thee. Uh -huh. And God said, so, so, so Abraham like, yo, that's my son. I want, you know, can you bless him, Lord? Watch this. This is the father's response. And God said, Sarah, thy wife shall bear thee a son indeed. He didn't answer Abraham. Why? Because 
he's going to fulfill what Abraham asked of him in another son to come. Listen carefully. Watch this. And thou shalt call his name Isaac. And you shall call what? His name Isaac. So Isaac is who the Lord is about to describe who his blessing is with. Watch this. And I will establish my covenant. Uh, you, he will what? I will establish my covenant with him. Isaac is who the covenant is established with. Now go back to uh, Genesis 21. Remember, don't let go of, Isaac is who the covenant was established with, right? Isaac is who the blessing, the promise is given to. Watch this. Genesis chapter 21 verse 10. Wherefore, she said unto Abraham, cast out this bond woman and her son. For the son of this bond woman shall not be heir with my son. Where'd she get that from? She got that from God. She got that from God. Just like God told Abraham, I'm, Sarah's going to, she's going to have a son, right? And his name going to be Isaac. And I'm going to bless him. I'm going to establish my covenant with that son. That's right. So don't ask me about that other one. That's why he didn't even answer Abraham about the, the uh, blessing um, Ishmael, that he might live before him. No, he's not going to live. Isaac is who's going to do that. Watch this. Even with Isaac. Even with who? With Isaac. We at it again. How did she learn this? Where did she get this from? The same place he got it from. Watch this. And the thing was very grievous in Abraham's sight. Because it was his son. It was his son. Watch this. Because of his son. And God said unto Abraham, let it not be grievous in thy sight. He said, don't trip about that. Don't be mad about that. Come on. Because of the lad. Uh -huh. and because of the lad, meaning young man. Don't call him son. Be, be, listen carefully. He said because of the lad, meaning young child. Come on. And because of thy bond woman. And because of the bond woman. Don't call her your wife. Because of the lad and the bond woman. Watch this. In all that Sarah had said unto thee. And everything Sarah just said to you. Meaning cast out the bond woman. Get rid of her. Her and her son got to go. Come on. Hearken. Do what? Hearken. Do what? Hearken unto her voice. Listen to her. Kick out the bond woman and her son Ishmael. They are both illegitimate. You with me, brother? You with me? Yo, you with me? Come on, watch this. You do, so where we at? Uh, Give you a quick talking, quiz, quiz real quick. We're still talking about her, about what God told her. Right, and who are we talking about? We're talking about Sarah. We're talking about Sarah. Right. Sarah told Abraham the, 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 the illegitimate son she had, or he had with, the, with her maid, her, her the lad, right? Gotta go. The lad and his mama gotta go. Right, they gotta go, right? Watch this. She, and all that Sarah had said unto thee. How would you be if somebody told you, man, if you don't get rid of your child, your, your, your wife come and tell you, get rid of the, your, your firstborn or whatever. You'd be like, you got me, you, you all, you bugging, bugging. You tripping, right? That's how Abraham was. You telling me, get rid of my son, you tripping. So the Lord got to come and deal with him. Watch this. Read it again. In all that Sarah had said unto thee, everything she said. Come on. Hearken or to her voice. You got to listen to it. God came and said, you got to hear everything she said. You got to do it. All, everything she said, you got to do it. And we don't know. We far from it nowadays. But it's a shame for a man to be wrong before his wife. That's right. The man is supposed to be the lead, the guy. He can't be wrong. We can't afford to be wrong. We so comfortable in being wrong nowadays, it don't make sense. But that's, what was, that's, the, that's what's illustrated here. That's why it's so much of a, of, a, of, a, of, a, uh, uh, of a precept here. Because Abraham could not be wrong. So God himself had to come and deal with Abraham on that. Watch this. For in Isaac. For in who? For in Isaac for. shall thy seed be called. So Isaac, just like was told to him before in the prophecy with the angel four chapters ago. Right? He's going to establish his covenant with who? Uh, no. no, 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 no. Go back with Isaac. With Isaac. That's Genesis chapter 16, verse 8 down. That's what we read. Right? 
Well, we yeah, read on. And also of the son of the bondwoman uh -huh. will I make a nation. So if the son of a bondwoman, I'm going to make a nation too. Come on. Because he is thy seed. Because he's your seed. Because he loved Abraham. Abraham was called the Lord's a friend. So he said, just because he was your son, I'm going to make a nation with him too. I'm going to make a nation with him. Right? Come on. And Abraham rose up early in the morning and took bread. He took bread. And a bottle of water. And some water. Come on. And gave it unto Agar. And gave it to the bond woman. Come on. Putting it on her shoulder. Putting it on her shoulder. Come on. And the child. Uh -huh. And sent her away. He gave her his son. He gave her her baby. Some bread and some water. You got to go. He didn't give her any inheritance. He didn't give her any substance other than bread, water, and the son, her, the, the son that she had. That's it. Watch this. And the child and sent her away. And she departed. And she what? And she departed. She did not stay there. The reason why we're going over this is because how, it, how um, Islam or, or Muslim religion is established in America it's like this. Abraham had a son. His name was Ishmael. Yes, he had Isaac, but Isaac uh, was, was another son. Abra Ishmael was his son too. Ishmael was not his son. That's, That's what right. God just established there. He is not your son. Understand that. Come on. Let's look at it. Mm -hmm. And she departed and wandered in the wilderness of Beersheba. And the water was spit in the bottle, and she cast the child under one of the shrubs. And she went and sat her down over against him a good way off, as it were a bow shot. For she said, Let me not see the death of the child. And she sat over against him. So she thought, she thought they were about to die. The water was spent, meaning it was gone. Right? They drank it all up in the end of the desert. Come on. And she sat over against him and lifted up her voice and wept. And God heard the voice of the lad. And the angel of God called to Hagar out of heaven and said unto her, What aileth thee, Hagar? Fear not, for God hath heard the voice of the lad where he is. Arise. Remember, God said he's not going to kill the boy because of who? Ishmael. Yeah, why did he say we just read it? Because of Abraham. He said, Fear not, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna kill the boy because of you. Right? So he said he's telling Hagar this now. Because she thinks they about to die in the wilderness. She hadn't received word that he wasn't gonna die. However, she doesn't believe because he already told her he name him Ishmael because his affliction is going to be heard. This is where his affliction is being heard. That's right. She didn't discern that. She couldn't understand that at the time. Watch this. Verse 18. Arise, lift up the lad, and hold him in thine hand, for I will make him a great nation. And God opened her eyes, and she saw a well of water, and she went and filled the bottle with water, and gave the lad to drink. Excuse me. And gave the lad drink. And God was with the lad. And he grew and dwelt in the wilderness and became an archer. And he dwelt in the wilderness of Paran. So when we read, when we read earlier on, he will be a wild man in the wilderness. What is that wilderness? I'll give you another word for it. It's a desert. That's right. It's a desert. And that desert is what is commonly known as the Middle East. That's mumbo jumbo, but that's what they call it now. Right? This is the history of the beginning of that nation, of that people. That's where Arabs come from. That's where they come from, right? And their doctrine comes from this misunderstanding of God dealing with them. You understand? So what, what, what Hagar understood, just like, where did you, you say you learned your religion from who? My father. Your father. Who did he learn his religion from? Right. But what, what did his father do to him and his mother? When he was a lad, remember it said kept it said lad twice. What happened to him when he was a lad? Uh, Ishmael. What happened to him? I don't even remember. I ain't gonna lie to you. He got put out. 
So do you think his father taught him, raised him in the doctrine? In the Bible, in the covenant? No. no. Especially right. being that the covenant would be established with Isaac. That's right. So it would have been blasphemy to teach Ishmael as Isaac was taught. Right. It would have been, that's why he said, get rid of him. He couldn't just stay there and not deal with him. He said, get rid of him. He don't want him understanding, knowing him at all. That's right. You understand? So the covenant would be with Isaac. Another word for, go to, um, go to, uh, uh, Sirach chapter 24, verse 23. A covenant is the doctrine that we go by or religion. That's the covenant. We follow the religion. We follow the covenant. We get blessed, right? That's how religion works, right? So what Ishmael was given as, as a religion is, is nothing more than him misunderstanding what his mother taught him about this story right here. That's what Islam is. So when you, when you, you read the Quran, you say you read the Bible, when you read the Quran, it's a lot of terrible things in there stated about our people, our skin, color, our skin tone, where we come from. And that's the reason why. That remember we read in Joel chapter three? They hate us. They would they would that they render us a recompense because they were not the chosen. That's right. That's right. You want it. You 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 you're absolutely right. And so does the so-called Chinese, so does the so-called Japanese, right. so does the so-called uh, East Indian, so does the so-called the entire world hates us. Everybody hates us. Cause you know why? Those are brothers. That's right. Those are brothers. They are also of the children of Israel. Right. There, there was called the northern kingdom of the children of Israel. And we don't know that because we're not taught our heritage no more. Give, where you at? Read, read that real fast and then give me um, Psalms 82. Yes, sir. The book of Sirach, chapter 24, verse 23. All these things are the book of the covenant of the Most High God. So all these things are the book of the covenant of the Most High God, right? So what's in this book? The religion, the doctrine, what we are to study, what we are to learn in hopes to receive eternal life, right? Read it again. All these things are the book of the covenant of the Most High God. Even the law which Moses commanded for an heritage. See that? It, Muhammad didn't command this for an heritage. Moses commanded it for an heritage. Ishmael did not command this for an heritage for our people. Isaac commanded it to his son Jacob for an heritage. Moses being a son of the tribe of Levi, charged by God to bring his children out of captivity in Egypt, gave us the covenant back because we forgot it. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is you. And fire!